pictures on the map. Got my hoover star on the hat. So home from New York was uh, that was a fun trip. That was a crazy trip. Super solid. Uh, shout out to everyone at Adidas that hooked me up or showed me love. Um, all the managers that I met, all the employees that I met, everyone who met in the streets or at an Adidas store. Uh, the amount of love that was shown is unreal. I appreciate the shit out of it. Really glad that. Uh, I spontaneously just decided to go. Had the new store in New York on Fifth Avenue is insane. It's like four stories. They have everything. Uh, they stocked a bunch of 3.0s. They stocked the entire Olympic pack. They had they had the reigning champs, the uncaged parlays, uh, the hardens. They had all kinds of stuff, man. It was it was crazy in there. A bunch of clothes. They had all the human race stuff, all the reigning champs clothing. They had so much stuff. Crazy store. If you're in New York, definitely check it out. Uh, also, go and check out the Soho store on Spring Street, and also the Broadway store. Which, if you live in New York, or you follow my Twitter or my Instagram on I don't remember what day it was. Uh, Friday on Friday they stocked reigning champs, triple blacks, and the uh, tan uncaged. You know, I walked into the store and nobody was there, just the employees and a couple, there were like maybe three people waiting for triple blacks. And so I tweeted that out and then it just got crazy, um, sold out in I think a, like an hour or so. But by the time I left, there was a line down the escalator. Um, but New York was super cool. I had a great time. I'll be back very soon. I've um, been busy since I got home, trying to catch up with stuff. I have plenty of stuff going on. Uh, Rain and Champs also stocked at the Chicago Water Tower store today. So that makes two restocks in a week in major Adidas stores. So if I were you and you want Rain and Champs and you're thinking about paying resale, I would wait it out. I'm telling you, people want to disagree with me, but there are so many shoes coming. Like, oh, man, there's so much stuff coming. Y'all don't even know. It's going to be bad. So uh, it's going to be like, that's the thing. It's going to be very difficult for anyone, including myself, to collect everything that they're dropping with Boost in it. You know, like, there are so many NMDs coming, and a lot of them I'm not really feeling. You know, like, it's not like everything is a must cop, but man, there's a lot. Um, it's just crazy. So, and especially with 3.0 coming, it's just. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun year for shoes. That's for sure. It's gonna be an expensive year. With the My Adidas Ultra Boost that I made, I did the all green version. I just did like the Liberty. They were calling it the Liberty colorway there. That was just what looked best to me. And so as far as like customizing shoes goes, and on this vlog even I said I wasn't a huge fan of uh, customization like Nike ID and stuff like that, which I'm not. I st I'm still not. I st people get it twisted for some reason. Flew out there to do it because of the experience and for the vlog and to like show everybody. And I do like that colorway. But that's kind of the thing with this. Like that's not a colorway that is available on any other shoe yet. It's not available on any other Ultra Boost up until this point. If you saw today, they announced the Naked Ultra Boost, which is basically the same colorway, although it's a different material set altogether. But that's another story. Well, it's not like it was just like, all these mixed match colors and you can design your own ultra boost, which I'd probably do that too because of the experience. Not something that I want to happen though. Not something that I want to happen on like a global scale. I don't want ultra boost to turn into Nike ID in that regard. Even with Nike ID though, there was like levels to it. You know, like you couldn't just make, you couldn't just log on to Nike ID and make a sick Nike Air Max, but if you had a special code or if you knew what was up or the Nike ID store in New York back in the day, could. So there's like levels to it and it just depends on how they play it. No, I'm still not a huge fan of the customization thing, but with the My Adidas and the New York, it's that to me just seems like they could have put out basically three different shoes, three colorways, like the, they could have put out the black with green accents, they could have had the green with black accents, or they could put out the all green, you know, and that's, they could have done a 700 pair release of just that colorway and people would have bugged out, but they did it this way and that's whatever. It was a fun experience, super glad that I got in and got, was able to get, it, to make it happen because after traffic in New York, um, I got there pretty late. So, shout outs to the plug on that one. So, um, sorry for the lighting still, I'm still waiting on replacement bulbs. I have this like really dinky light. It doesn't do much. Um, as far as shoes drops this week went, uh, a lot of stuff dropped. Like while I was in New York, tons of stuff came out. Tomorrow there's like 11 3.0s coming. Uh, the Pusha T's dropped, NMD R2's dropped, 
NMD tri colors dropped. I mean, I'm missing stuff, I know. Triple black uncaged, ultra boost dropped. There's like three or four random, there's like a burgundy uncaged, like a white noise uncaged. There's just, there's a lot of shoes. Adidas definitely, uh, I definitely went in right before Christmas. So what I did pick up was the Pusha T EQTs, which I missed out on the morning of the drop. So shout out to the plug in Chicago who hooked me up. I slept through the NMD R2 and the NMD tri-color release. I'm not really feeling the NMD R2, those colorways. I've seen some colorways that are super fire that are coming. I've seen so many NMDs that are coming, it's kind of ridiculous. There's like new R2, that, that green colorway and the black ones with the, the horizontal lines. It's not my favorite. I'm not gonna say that I absolutely won't get them. But those just, I'm not feeling super hard. Um, but the tri-color ones, I got both pairs of those coming. One from Adidas and one from someone who copped for me. And I think that's it. I have, still just have to go pick up my Yeezys. They, they tried to deliver them today, but the shop's closed. So the red striped Yeezys are in the mail. And as far as olive and copper have gone, I'm just like asleep on it. I just don't really care right now. Some people have offered me really good prices on them. I had one guy that like totally flaked, so I don't really know. It's all good, I don't really care. There's another Yeezy coming like December 17th, the black and white ones. It's crazy, the shoe game is crazy right now and what Adidas is doing is awesome to me because there's a lot of hot shit dropping I and mean, there's a lot of shit coming. The only thing that's not cool about it is how much money I'm spending. I know a lot of y'all think I'm like rich, but I'm not and I, a lot of this shoe investment is to keep this going because I enjoy doing this so much. We have a lot of shoes to take a look at today so the vlog is basically just going to be me talking about shoes. Um, all right, so the other day I got home from New York. I had some packages. Pendant looks like this and it's for Doobie. So that's pretty cool. That's what he made me. So pretty fucking sick, like awesome. And this little really awesome little nice pipe. Thank you very much. I'm gonna smoke out of it right now. Blue Dream. Yes. All right, shoes. I'm gonna move this shoe situation into the hallway, I think. This whole entire house is gonna look like a sneaker store soon. Maybe I'll open the first house sneaker store. First shoe is the Miami Hurricanes Ultra Boost 2.0, Player's Edition. Uh, size 13, 1.0 looks like this, but the new one looks like that. So that is the two differences in versions. I already know what people in the comment box are going to say. Huge, huge shout out to All Canes in Miami. You guys are awesome. Um, got these out to me in a size 13. Super, super grateful. Can't express enough how awesome it is. Really sorry for the lighting in here for this. It's really not great, but uh, you have your regular 2.0 black gradient in the toe box. A lot of people don't like this um, compared to the 1.0. I'm fine with it. I like the 1.0 better, but the 2.0 black is also fine with me. Then you have a black regular cage, not leather or anything like that. We have an orange heel cup with black Ultra Boost branding and then just boost black continental sole. So this is the player's edition. Uh, oh, the laces. Uh, two sets of laces the black with orange tips and then there's uh, orange with green tips the green with the orange and the only retail as far as I know that got them was all canes but yeah so I'm not sure the 2.0 Miami Hurricanes players edition ultra boost so.
Next shoe that we have is the Tan Cargo Ultra Boost. I had to throw the box away for these because I was flying and I couldn't carry all this stuff. This is a funny release. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, when they thought it was a New York City only exclusive, were freaking out about it and trying to call it the Super Fire, blah, blah, blah. Then when they found out it was releasing in different places, uh, they decided that it was no longer cool. So. I guess that's what they call a hype beast. I wouldn't know, because I'm not one. This is a very controversial pair. Some people love it, some people hate it. I actually really like it. I have no problems with it whatsoever. We have another uncaged Ultra Boost. Uh, Prime it on this is a, everyone's always asking me the difference in the fit. For an Ultra Boost, to me, versus an uncaged Ultra Boost, the difference is the sock like. An uncaged Ultra Boost, the way it fits, it just feels more like a sock on your foot versus uh, a caged one to me. Enforced in the cage area, honestly, and the uncaged because they put that inner reinforcement inside the shoe. So you have tan mixed in with olive green, olive greenish, olive green or gray, I can't really tell. Sometimes I think my colors and my eyes are crazy. It gets more like gray. Uh, mixed in with cream all throughout the shoe and then this one has obviously a like safety orange paint job on the boost it is only on the outside it is not on the bottom people really don't like it people have been calling them like so gross so when there's a shoe like this that a lot of people call it ugly resale tends to kind of skyrocket later so we'll see i don't know i'm not going to say that resale is going to be crazy on these but there are another uncaged um i reviewed a lot of uncaged lately all uncaged go true to size you could probably half size down if you have to if you out the insole that always works for me but tan cargo uncaged ultra boost a tan heel cup with ultra boost branding all in gold i have a cream colored continental sole on this one which is a first i think yeah. and then you have these like crazy tan cargo laces too which match the shoe nicely so. brings me to the reigning champ ultra boost controversy is real on this one huh so people are mad at me for talking about resale um i don't want to say that i'm right but i'm probably right yeah so reigning champ ultra boost this is a size 12. i have a size 13 coming also i got these because people were saying that they fit looser and then so i had the opportunity to snag a 12 in new york I got the 12. Um, I have a 13 coming that I had already acquired. So um, I'll probably still stick with my 13 because that's what I prefer. But at the same time, this pair of shoes, a size 12, I've never had a 12. I have 12 and a half, and those fit snug. Tried on size 12 in a regular Ultra Boost and it can't, it doesn't work. This pair definitely fits different. It definitely does. Box. With this pair, you get, oh, it's already out of the box. With this pair, you get a dust bag, you get a Raining Champs dust bag. Adidas. It's kind of like a rough material. It's not it's not like the Y3 dust bag or anything. It's like this. Stitching at the back super cool. I really like that. And then, uh, yeah. So Brandy Champ is a store in Canada, a brand in Canada. Um, the prime knit on this, every, so this is the thing, this is what makes it fit looser, and there's definitely gonna be some people in the comments talking shit, um, because some people before this were coming out were being like super nerds about it, 
And they're like, it's not technically prime knit and da da da. It's still, it's still prime knit. It's still essentially the same thing. It has a more Terry feel to it or whatever, but it's not. People are acting like, you know, an astronaut came back from NASA and was like, we have something new. Like, it's just, it's just a different method to it. It's nothing, not a huge difference. It has more give to it. This toe box itself is just more givey. Like, you can just, it's just, the fabric is more flex. The heel still kind of feels the same to me, but it's just got a looseness to it to me that I can just, I mean, I can wear a 12. I put this on with an insole and it's fine. If I take the insole out, it feels like a middle between like a 12 and a half and a 13. A uh, really crazy fit. Uh, the pattern on it is not necessarily 1.0 to me. I would say that the design of it is a 1.0, but the pattern is wherever it wants to be. Um, I don't know what you would technically call that. Again, some people are going to nerd out and just be like, let's do this, let's that, but uh, it's whatever, you know, it's a shoe. Rainy Champs, I really like the women's version of this shoe too a lot. Um, the resale on these right now is around, I've seen them go around $300 to $400. Depends on where you're looking. Uh, keep looking for restocks. Adidas store. I'm getting restocked, so I would just keep checking in. The pattern in the toe is just super crazy, though. I mean, it's a really interesting looking shoe. If this had a leather cage on it, it would be like super, it'd be over, you know what I mean? The Raining Champ Ultra Boost uh, 1.0 slash a little lighter knit but yeah for my recommendation on this like if you find i mean you can go true to size like i'm always like i'm always wanting to go true to size but find a 13 that's great like a lot of people are 13s and they can't find their size i you might be able to fit into a 12 and i know that's a big risk because you're paying if you're paying resale or something like that but um I'm telling you, like, if you look at the on feats when you see them, like, there's, I have room. Like, I ha get the 13s and the 12s, I'll put, like, a side-by-side -side comparison. We'll take a real good look at it. But, uh, Rain and Champ, Ultra Boost, uh, yeah. Okay, so again, sorry about the light, man. Like, it's really bad, I hate this. Uh, I ordered bulbs, they should be here like in a couple of days. The shoe that I really am excited to talk about um, because it just came out and I got these at the Fifth Avenue store in New York, which was absolutely insane. The opening was crazy, there were so many people there. It was nuts, trying to get 3.0s. Shout out to the employees. I know it was like really crazy for everyone there. The 3.0s, it was so busy in there that I asked for triple white 3.0 um, because I have the black ones already coming. I pre-ordered those. So I thought I'll pick up the whites and then I'll pick up other colors as I go, whatever. The chaos was so so real that they brought me one point or 2.0 3M. And then I had to give that back to them and then they exchanged it and they, they, you know, guy brought me another pair. Instead of whites, they brought me the gray 3. .0. And I didn't even notice because of the light in there. I didn't really even notice it. I just saw the translucent cage and was like, okay. And just walked out and just went and bought them uh, and didn't realize until I got to the hotel that they were gray. So I was telling everybody, even I think even in the vlog, I'm saying I got triple whites. So I didn't get triple whites there. But my homie Jay did cop me a pair of triple whites. Uh, he cops extra 
extra pair, so he's just gonna hook me up with those. So I do have black, white, and now gray. Um, also, shout out to Jay. You know who you are. Jay, when he found out I was going to New York, ended up just like donating me money to help with the expenses of a last minute trip, which was super cool. I have some of the coolest fans slash followers slash friends slash whatever you want to call it. It's just really cool. Everyone that rides this wave with me because we all love the same thing. The amount of love that I get when I go to a city like New York is unreal. I'm just super appreciative of everybody and everyone and everything that's happening. So just to throw that out there. But um, yeah, so, but 3.0 Ultra Boost. This is the gray colorway. This is what the shoe looks like. Side, bag. All right, so let's get into it. The uh, pattern on this, which some people are absolutely ridiculous and are calling it a stretch mark pattern. If anything, it looks like glitch, just like three-dimensional, almost like an embossed glitch pattern. On uh, The PK on this is soft. It's way softer. The shoe itself has a much baggier fit. Like this knitting on here is like NMD knitting. And the entire toe box itself, compared to a, uh, like the entire toe box to me just feels, it's noticeable. Like this is just so much more stretchy. The prime knit in a 2.0, like I said, it's quilted. It's woven together in this pattern that gives you, it must quilt it tighter. Like I don't know the technical aspects of it, so I'm not gonna pretend. But this is a more rigid, uh, tighter knit, is I guess what some would say. This is more like a sock, and it's like much more sock. It's like one piece, and it feels like it's not necessarily knitted like that um, in the same fashion. I don't, again, I don't know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But the 3.0, uh, it's, it's just a much looser fit. And also in the ankle. The ankle area itself is just much more open. This is like the sole box. And that is how I would, a lot of people I know don't have the uncaged sole box. But these fit a lot a lot like that. They are very baggy. In a 2.0, I mean the difference here in the ankle opening, can't really see that physical color. I need a 2.0. A 2.0 ankle opening versus the 3.0. I've worn these one for a day or two, but that doesn't, this doesn't happen to any of my other shoes. They don't blow out like that. That makes a huge, huge difference. So 3.0 has a much baggier, it hugs your foot just in a different way. Uh, the translucent cage, let's talk about this because some people say it's trash and they hate it. I honestly fucking love the translucent cage. It's a different material. It's like way more flexy. It doesn't have like the rigid plasticness to it. That's right. Plasticness. It's a new thing. Forms with the shoe, and that's because this is fle more flexible and more gummy like, which I just love. And then from across the room, the look of it, it looks uncaged, which I think is super cool. So I don't understand why some people don't like this. I think it's honestly one of my favorite parts about the shoe is that the cage is clear like that. I really love it. Uh, gray insole, gray, 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 gray. Whole thing is just gray. Black Continental. We're still running on Continental tires here. 3.0 hasn't changed that. But the overall fit, I'm just telling you, um, yeah, it's definitely baggier I definitely think compared to you so if you're a real size an ultra boost is a size 10 you know I think you can easily wear nine and a half and if you take the insole out you could probably wear nine I don't know I don't know if it's like that extreme for everybody because I can wear kind of like whatever I don't know how tight people like their shoes I don't like my shoes to be super tight and these aren't super baggy but they definitely do not hug your foot in the same way that a 2.0 does or even a 1.0 I feel like 1.0 to 2.0 it got cushier and then this is just even more cushier and in the way that this the way that the upper completely hugs around your foot in a more relaxed fashion is just like game changing once again i'm really excited for 3.0 I think this PK is super nice. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for all the collaborations and everything else that we're gonna get. Ultra Boost 3.0, first pair I got, the grays. Um, yeah, and there's like 11 pairs dropping tomorrow or something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna cop anything. I'll see what happens when I wake up. Adidas has been playing games with me lately as far as checking out online. I don't know, it's been kind of annoying. But I might, there might be a colorway. I have, like I said, I have the black, the whites, and the, uh, grays so maybe like the maroons or something i don't know we'll see but our fear of the dark grew up us. the idea of alien beings troubles us we conjure up objections
Thank you.